I feel like you're getting a fish. Yeah, you are, for sure. See, that might as well be my fish. Like, what I have to tell you when you're getting a fish? <laughs> you can have this one, you said? <laughs> oh yeah, that's a good fish. Yeah. Ready? Yep, hold him up. I got him. Oh man. Now that's the way to start the day, honey. <laughs> good job. That way. Way to go to start the day. There we go. There's one. I've been waiting for that bite. Feels like a nice fish. Oh yeah. That's a nice crappie. Nice fish. Come on up here, big fella. There we go. Good to have you on board. Holy crap. Good to be back on these giants. Man, what a nice fish. Get the hook out of this guy. Holy cow. Do you see the bend he put on that new rod? You know what I'm using is that micro light glass from Bass Pro Shops. The rod was only 20 bucks. It's a seven foot six ultra light made for four to eight pounds. Um, I've got eight pound tests on it because I've run into some bigger fish here, some catfish. But man, look at that. What a chunk of a crappie, you guys. That is a nice one. So glad to be back on him. Man, it's nice to be on the boat. I'm gonna put this one in and we're gonna get some fillets out of him. And uh, I tell you what, it's gonna be a great day of fishing. So I'm glad you joined me here on Fish Brain Chain. Um, I, I just, I don't even have time to do an intro. So this is gonna be our intro, catching a fish. You know what? I'm gonna get the music going right now. Boom, there it is. Let's go fishing, let's go fishing, let's go fishing now. See that guy looking at you? <laughs> I'm gonna put him in the tank. So what I do when I fish this drop shot for panfish is I throw it out about as far as I can or to, to the area that I wanna throw it. Sometimes I sit up on a more shallow shelf and uh, throw it off that edge and then kind of drag it back up over the top. But what I do, as you can see, is I'll change, I'll vary the cadence and the speed that I'm using um, pretty regularly uh, just to see what they're reacting to. Um, sometimes it's as much as just leaving it like this and letting it just sit and maybe popping it once in a while like that. Just get that bait moving and see if they actually react to that. Um, and I, I always, always, always go slow, slower than you think. You know, one cast should take three, four, five minutes to reel in or more. And I think that's when you're gonna be the most successful. And when it's really working, you're gonna get bites or nibbles or knocked around on almost every cast. And you'll see a fish or two like this. This is a little perch, but you can tell I'm finding out what's down there, right? And it's these fat little perch. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But, you know, the, the technique works. It works really well. And right now the, the fish are hugging the bottom. So see you later, little guy. Uh, just a little bit of advice on how this new technique has been working for me. Again, about two feet down, a bell sinker, three sixteenths of an ounce. And then a number six hook with a uh, Berkeley grub on the end of it. They seem to like that. I love the chartreuse color, as you know. Oh, there's a fish. Got one. That's a nice fish too. On the drop shot, I was just kind of letting it sink and hang out there and I started reeling in and there's a fish. Oh yeah, that's a nice crappie. Might be another keeper for the day. Nice one. Look at that guy right there. Can't hardly get my hand around him. He took the tail off my drop shot, but that's a pretty little fish right there. Good one. Look how fat that fish is, you guys. That is the kind of fish that I like to catch. Crappies. Man, we're on them today. Last time we were here, we got a lot of uh, smaller fish, but some good numbers. And um, actually, we're here the very next day, and now we're starting to get some bigger fish. So I'm going to go ahead and put this away. Let's get another one, right? So I like to hook these when I hook the drop shot where the uh, tail is going to be facing up. I feel like it gives it really good action. There's a lot of guys that hook it uh, tail facing down or even sideways. I think it's kind of personal preference. But me, I just like to do it with the tail facing up. And then I've got about, oh, I suppose about two feet down to a 3 16th of an ounce uh, sinker. 
and that's going to be where I'm running today because these fish are hugging the bottom. I love this new Fluger President reel. This XT President's really nice. This rod's pretty fun to use too. I'm getting used to it though. All right, so throwing out the drop shot. I've been thinking about this technique all winter. It's something that I kind of started doing late last summer and um, I got a little bit of a rat nest. Not much of a rat, it, it would become a rat nest. But I've been thinking about this all winter. I've been thinking that this time of year that this technique would work really well because the fish are so tight to the bottom. Um, so how I'm doing it is I'm casting really far from the boat. I am fishing it extremely slow and just keeping the line kind of ooh, nice and tight so that I can feel the fish when they're there. <laughs> and of course, uh, you know, we're getting a fish here and there, um, but really it's all about feel. And I miss a lot of fish um, when I'm doing this technique and it's because I'm learning this technique really um, that I miss, miss so many fish. And I love that. I love the fact that this isn't something I'm an expert at, that I just learned how to do it. I'm kind of adapting it for panfish. There's not a lot of guys out there that are using the drop shot for panfish. And I personally think it's deadly, deadly awesome for this. So um, we're gonna get this fish back. We'll see you later, bud. When you're a bigger fish, Oh, I missed one there. Darn it. Still trying to figure that out a little bit. And you guys, that's that's part of it. That's any technique that you're going to use, any new technique especially, you're going to you're going to have to have some hits and some misses, right? And uh it's part of the reason I like this technique because it is not easy. It's not it's not just watching your bobber and watching it go under, which I do love to do. This is more actively fishing for them and uh, getting bites, missing them. Oh, oh, just like that. Oh my gosh. Oh, talking myself into getting bites and missing them apparently. <laughs> oh, there's a fish right there. Oh, nice one. That feels like a good fish. Let's see if it is or if it's just a good fighter. Look at the bend on that rod. God, I love this new ultralight, you guys. Oh yeah, that's a decent fish. Looks like it might be a keeper. Oh yeah. Nice fish. <laughs> I thought I had something a little better on that one. Look at how nice of a fish that is. Back on the big crappies, everybody. I'm so excited, you know that. I love the big crappies. What is it about crappies? I've been noticing that. You know, I fish for everything. I fish for trout, I fish for suckers, I fish for northern, I fish for pike, which is the same thing as northern. Did you catch that? I fish for walleye, I fish for anything. You know, I just fish for any Oscars down in Florida as you've seen, but there's something about this black and white fish right here. I know it's tasty, I know it's fun, but there's something about this fish that gets everybody excited. Even people that maybe aren't necessarily fishermen all the time, just love crappies. Love to catch them, love to eat them, love to have fun. I mean, I just, wow, so awesome. Uh, I'm gonna put this one away and look at that. We got some chunks in there. The big crappies, the big crappies, you know what I'm saying? The drop shot works, you guys. Try it. I know that it's difficult to do, to get to something different, to, to do a new technique or to try it, but drop shot for panfish is the new way. I'm telling you right now, look, look, the results speak for themselves. If you have not subscribed to the channel, you should subscribe now. If you have not tried the drop shot, you should try that. Oh, now, tell you what, I'm gonna get back to fishing. I'm gonna maybe make a catch cook and clean soon with some crappies and maybe fry them up for you. In the meantime, Fish Brain Chain, out.